A, B, C, D is a parallelogram with A, B being equal to 14 units. A, D is produced to E such that A, D is to D, E is equal to 4 is to 3. So A, D is to D, E is 4 is to 3. It is not necessarily 4 and it is not necessarily 3. But when we divide them, we shall get 4 divided by 3. Okay. And then EB intersects DC in F. And then EB is equal to 21 units. Right. Stories. Let's look at the first question. 9.1. Calculate with the reasons the length of FB. So we want to find the length of F. B. We know that EB is equal to 21, okay? So EB divided by FB should be equal to EA divided by DA. Why am I saying that DF is parallel AB? So the two sides are divided proportionally, okay? So what is EB? EB is 21, like we have in the information. FB is what we are interested in. This will be equal to EA. EA will be 7x divided by DA, which is 4x. We can see x and x cancels out. If we cross multiply, we get 7FB being equal to 21 multiplied by 4. So we have 7FB being equal to 84. If we divide both sides by 7, we get FB is equal to 12 units. So there we go. We have the length of FB. Uh, let's get to 9.2 and see if we can prove given reasons that triangle EDF is similar to triangle E, A, B. Okay. The way these triangles are named, the angles, uh, they follow a certain order. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We have triangle E, D, F and triangle E, A, B. Okay. Angle E on the two triangles should be equal to each other. Okay. So let's take a look at triangle E, D, F and a triangle E, A, B. We can see that angle E is a common angle, okay? So we can see that E is equal to E. This is a common angle of the two triangles. Let's go to the angle that follows. Angle D in triangle EDF. So this angle D in triangle EDF should be equal to angle A in triangle EAB, okay? So we have angle A being equal to angle D. Which reason can we use? We can see that the line DF is parallel the line AB. So angle A is corresponding angle D. Okay. So we're going to say that angle D is equal to angle A. This is corresponding angles. So we have corresponding angles because DF is parallel AB. If we've proved that two angles are equal to each other in two triangles, then the third angles are also going to be equal to each other because of the sum of angles on a triangle. Okay, so this angle F should be equal to angle B. Okay, so we have F being equal to B. We can use third angle of triangle or we can also use corresponding angles. So now we can go ahead and conclude and say that a triangle EDF is similar to triangle EAD. Angle, angle, angle. That is 9.2. 9.3. Calculate with reasons the length of FC. So let me just go ahead and erase this. I want to find the length of F. C, okay? FC has nothing to do with our triangle, with our two triangles, right? 
But DF has something to do with our triangles. DF. If we can find a DF, then we're going to have FC because AB should be equal to DC if ABCD is a parallelogram. So how can we find DF? Uh, let me show you what we're going to do. We know that this is 14. We know that we have 3x and 4x. We want to find df okay so on the smaller uh, triangle ed divided by df should be equals to ea divided by ab in the bigger triangle okay what reason can we give we can say that triangle edf is similar to triangle ea eab and not ead okay so there we go uh, ED is 3x. DF is what we are interested in. This is equals to EA, which is 7x. AB is 14. Okay, x and x can cancel out. Uh, if we cross multiply, we have 14 multiplied by 3, which is 42. So 7DF is equals to 42. 42 divided by 7 is 6. So DF is equals to 6. Okay. Uh, but we know that DC is equals to AB, which is equals to 14, because ABCD is a parallelogram. So FC will be equals to 14 minus 6, which is equals to 8. 14 minus 6 is 8. So FC is 8 units. And just like that, we have uh, the length of FC.